Doctor, one of those therapies is uh, oxidative medicine. Can you explain what that is? Well, oxidative, well, peroxide would be oxidative medicine. Okay. Uh, peroxide causes oxidation. It, it, it sends an oxygen molecule somewhere. And, and uh, antioxidants, <laughs> antioxidants get all the good press now. They say, oh, okay, this is, a, this is not only a vitamin nourishment, it's, a, it's an antioxidant. Well, an antioxidant is a free radical scavenger. So if you have a, a piece of a molecule of, of uh, uh, some vitamin or mineral or some, some food, uh, and, and it has a, an extra unpaired electron, it has, it has a chemical charge on it that, that it's called a free radical, mm -hmm. these cause damage. These, these are kind of like, uh, they're kind of like loose cannons on on the on, on the deck, and they're they're crashing into things. And every every time they crash into a molecule, they damage it. And so when you get this billion millions and billions of times, you start to get changes in arth you get arthritis, you get myositis, you get uh, infections of various kinds, you get breakdown of your tissues. So oxidative medicine looks like it would make it worse. But if you take something like, like, like hydrogen peroxide and you can give it intravenously, and some people do that, give, give that intravenously, then that, that hydrogen, and that was what Charlie Farr figured out, then, then the, the items that need to be healed get the good free radicals. Now, a good free radical is almost an oxymoron. This uh, like a good criminal or a good killer, <laughs> but no. But we ha we we have to have a certain amount of oxidation to stay alive. Our tissues, mm. our tissues thrive on a tiny amount of oxidation. When the oxidation gets excessive, then it then it's, then the free radicals get damaging. So, so oxidative medicine would be using those techniques to to increase your your hydrogen peroxide and keep things healthy.